Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. One of the most popular tests is the PSA test. That means prosthetic specific antigen. This is a simple blood test that can result in tremendous problems for people and I strongly encourage men not to get it done. I'm not the only one that encourages you not to get it done. The American Cancer Society in March of 2010 changed their policy and they encouraged doctors not to encourage patients to get a PSA test done. In the United States Services Preventative Task Force in October of 2011 did the same thing. They said stop doing these tests. They do much more harm than good. Now how can a little blood test do you harm? Well first of all you worry about that blood test before you get it done and before you get the results back. If you have a blood test done as a man you have a 10 percent chance it'll be positive. That means you'll have to go for further tests. And the next test involves a biopsy. Let me put it more directly and more accurately. It involves on average 16 biopsies in one session. And those biopsies are significant. I mean, just think about the fact that one month after the biopsies, 40% of men have problems with erectile dysfunction. And six months later, 15% of men, just because of the biopsy, are having trouble with their sex life. I mean, this is significant. So think twice about it before you get a PSA test done. That leads to biopsies that can change your life. And then, if you're found to be positive on the biopsy, which happens on average 30% of the time, and the older you get, the more likely they're going to find prostate cancer, so, such so that by the time you get to be, say, 70 years old, you have 70, 80, 90% chance that it'll be positive. And then you have to go on to the treatments, and the treatments result in terrible problems, such as impotence and incontinence. It may that be all good if it prolongs your life, but the data is clear, it doesn't. So stay away from that PSA test. I'm Dr. John McDougall.